You may have heard of the dead zone. It's an area in the Gulf of Mexico that's the size of all of New Jersey that gets so polluted every year that fish can't even live there anymore. It's caused by too much nitrogen fertilizer from farms washing off into the environment. This is a huge environmental problem, not just in the Gulf. Nitrogen pollution is a growing problem around the world. However, we need nitrogen to survive. It's an essential building block of all plants and all the crops that we eat. With populations expected to reach 9 or even 11 billion people by the end of the century, we'll need more food. How do we feed the world without destroying the environment? Many people propose growing food without synthetic fertilizer. Synthetic fertilizer is the primary way that farmers get enough nitrogen for their crops. And because it's so widespread, it's also the main source of nitrogen pollution. We can grow some food without it. In fact, organic farmers grow food using manure, compost, and they also grow plants called legumes that actually suck up nitrogen from the atmosphere and add it to the soil. This is great, there's a lot of extra manure and a lot of extra compost in the world today, and we should use as much of it as we can. However, trying to grow all of the world's food without any synthetic fertilizer would actually create more environmental problems than it would solve. The challenge is that there's simply not enough manure and compost out there for everyone to use. To replace all of the synthetic fertilizer that we currently use today, we would need way more land. I estimate that to replace all of the nitrogen that synthetic fertilizer provides today, we would need at least 40% more cropland. That's almost the size of all of Australia. All of that new farmland would mean fewer forests, it would mean pulling up prairie, it would mean converting important habitat for wildlife into cropland. So clearly, getting rid of synthetic fertilizer is not a silver bullet for our environmental problems. We need to support a variety of different farming practices, both from organic farming and conventional, that help farmers grow more food using nitrogen more efficiently. This includes simply cutting fertilizer use where it's over applied right now but it also means supporting the use of new technologies and machinery that help farmers give their plants just the right amount of nitrogen fertilizer. Overall, there are a wide variety of good options out there, but getting rid of synthetic fertilizer entirely is not one of them. Find out more in my essay linked below or at our website, thebreakthrough.org.